This week's preset of the week is not like anything that we have seen before on this channel. I stumbled across it recently and thought it deserved to get a good look-see. So let's take a look at SOS, the Set of Settings Project. This is what it says on the home page. The Set of Settings Project is a statistical analysis of thousands of presets for the Fractal Audio Axe FX3 and FM3 and the Line 6 Helix family. These thousands of source presets were gathered from factory presets, paid slash professional creators, and most importantly, from you on Axe Change and Custom Tone. This big data approach to preset creation for guitar digital modelers is the first of its scale and possibly of its kind. The goal of the SOS project is that by tracking the minimum, maximum, average, median values, and more for each setting, providing users with six to eight suggested or usable values to act as starting points for dialing in their tone. The SOS project doesn't provide definitive answers for what is the perfect slash best slash ultimate setting. What the SOS approach does offer are suggested values that have a high probability of usefulness slash applicability. The SOS project provides means, not necessarily ends. Fractal Audio Axe FX3 and FM3. All of the sets and settings displayed on the website are available for free. 12 sample presets featuring 48 of the most popular app models are available for free. Available for purchase is 90 presets, the SOS for 252 amp models, all of the cab block settings, all of the drive models, and select compressor, delay, and reverb models. I'm guessing that the dev behind the SOS project was able to reverse engineer preset files and then stored individual parameter data in a massive spreadsheet, then calculated the minimum, maximum, average, median values, and more for each setting. From there, they built some presets using statistically derived data, which you can tweak further. So, if I'm understanding this project, it's data-driven for the most part. When you click on the About FAS SOS tab, you get even more info. The Set of Settings, or Save Our Settings project, is the result of one year and over a thousand hours of research, data mining, compiling, preset creation, and more. I have analyzed over 6,030 unique channels slash presets from pro and paid, factory, and Axe Exchange sources. I've been tracking the amp block's ideal and advanced pages, cabs, drives, reverbs, delays, comps block, and more. I've also made over 80 free presets, each featuring multiple amp, cab, and effect models, each demonstrating their average values. After purchasing my FM3 and being a bit overwhelmed by the sheer number of amps, cabs, and effects, I set out to gain a little inspiration and direction from the factory presets. Pro slash paid creators such as Austin Buddy, Fremen, Marco Fanton, and most importantly, you, to see how experienced vets were dialing in their presets. Just a gentle nudge in the right direction. Well, that escalated quickly and soon spun out of control as I started tracking stats for almost all of the amp and effect models available in the FM3. There's a lot more information here, but if you're interested, you can go to the website and read it. There's a massive amount of data that you can go through, plus there are sample presets available to download, in addition to other sets that you can buy. I downloaded the sample set of presets and then loaded them into my FM9. Remember, these were created on an FM3, so they'll work on all three units. Let's pull up FM9 Edit and take a look at what you get. There are 12 presets in the free bundle, and you can see them here, preset 391 down to preset 402. Since the dev who created them used an FC6 along with his FM3, he also included a set of FC layouts. Now I'm going to go ahead and try these presets with the standard FC layouts for now. All 12 presets have 8 scenes, so we have 96 scenes to play with here. So you can see that he names his presets by the amp types using. Now just looking at this last preset quickly, we can see the blocks. In1, Looper, Comp, Drive1, Drive2, Amp, Graphic EQ, Cab, Delay1, Delay2, Reverb, and Out1. All right, nothing left to do but try them out, am I right? <laughs> Not the whole set though. We'd be here for a whole hour. I think what I'm gonna do is try scene seven in every one of these presets. <laughs>
I don't know if there has been any further development on the Save Our Settings project since 2021, but it is definitely unique, and I wish the dev the best of luck on this project. Now, the cool thing about these free presets was that they were all really usable, despite their method of assembly. I think I might try his other products. I mean, what's it going to put me out? 15 bucks? I will leave the link in the description. You go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think about this stuff. Now this Friday we are going to have part 14 of the Fractal for Beginners series. We are going to be taking a look at the per preset layout, how it's currently set up for the factory presets, and how you can use it for your own presets. Now you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Alright guys, I will see you on Friday.